We are starting tonight with breaking news at the Columbiana Center where at least 12 people were injured after a shooting inside the mall this afternoon. We have team coverage on the scene right now. We're going to start our team coverage with News 19's Kaylin Hagwood. Well, Darcy, just about an hour ago, Chief Holbrook was here uh, briefing the media on what happened. And he says it started around uh, 2 o'clock is when uh, law enforcement was called in because of a shooting inside the mall, as you mentioned. Now, they have been working still and at this point to clear the inside of the mall as they asked employees to shelter in place for fear of, of what could be happening. They do have three people detained. They say they don't believe it was a random shooting, but uh, that the folks knew each other. Those folks are not uh, suspects as they are continuing to investigate. But I want you to hear a little bit from the chief directly. Uh, we still have law enforcement teams inside the mall. Uh, we've accounted for everybody that's been injured, and I'll speak to that in just a moment. But uh, the reason we still have um, teams inside the mall is they're clearing. It's a large mall. We're clearing um, stores um, one at a time. We did an initial sweep for, for injured uh, people that were injured, and we got them with medical personnel and got them transported. Um, we had the the individual stores that took immediate security measures and locked their stores down and we had everybody shelter in place. So we have teams now methodically going through the mall um, and removing folks that they find that have sheltered in place and, and um, moving them to the unification site. Uh, we have established a unif unification site which is just up the street at Fairfield Inn. That's located at 320 Columbiana Drive. Um, we have a conference room secured there and we're asking anyone that was separated or might be looking for a loved one or friends, uh, that's where they can report or they can call there at 803-732-4436. Again, that's 803-732-4436. As um, law enforcement teams um, locate people in them all, that is where they will be taking in for unification again with friends and family. What we know currently, and again I, I say this is very preliminary, we had 12 injured, uh, no fatalities. I repeat, no fatalities. 10 suffered gunshot, gunshot wounds. Eight were transported. Two self-reported to area hospitals. Of the eight gunshot wounds, two are in critical but stable. Six are stable. Um, we had two that were injured during the stampede. Uh, Non-gunshot non, non wounds but were injured and again, we uh, transported folks to three area hospitals, um, Park Ridge, uh, Richland, and Lexington. We have three people detained. What we know is at least three people were seen with firearms inside the mall, and at least one person fired a weapon. That could change. Uh, we're asking anybody with information that may have witnessed, may have video, um, or has heard something to contact our Criminal Investigations Bureau. That number is 803-545-3525. 803-545-3525. Um, there will be investigators standing by uh, to receive those calls. Well, of those 12 people who were injured, at least one was as, as young as 15 years old. Um, and as they uh, continue to work through this investigation, they say the information, it doesn't matter how small, there were a lot of folks who were in the mall, and we'll hear a little bit more from witnesses a little bit later in the show. But I can tell you from what we've heard so far, folks say it was very chaotic. It's Easter weekend, so a lot of people were in the mall just taking photos with the Easter bunny, I'm told, and uh, just looking to, to find some last-minute items, and it turned uh, very chaotic. Um, and uh, But if you have have any information and you're able to 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 calm as as the chief said from the situation that you've experienced you're asked to call crime stoppers to reach out to the authorities to try to share that information because it can help in this investigation darcy kayla thank you so much we are going to continue our team coverage now with news 19's whitney sullivan whitney when police received that 911 call there were thousands of people in the area as kayla just mentioned you were across the street from the mall what did you see yeah, Dorothy, so I was actually in the movie. That was at ABC, or excuse me, AMC Harbison. Uh, when I received the WLPX alert that a shooting had took place. So the movie ended about 30 to 45 minutes after I received that alert. As soon as I walked outside of the movie theater, and to help, again, provide context, it is directly across the street from the mall. I mean, I could walk to the mall from where this theater is at. As soon as I walked outside, you can see the area 
was filled with different law enforcement vehicles. And this has been, from what I saw, the largest response with multiple with different multiple agencies uh, in my career as a journalist. I mean, we saw Richland County Sheriff deputies, Columbia Police, SLED. There was a Lexington Medical Ambulance bus. So many different law enforcement entities on the scene. And also, I have to speak to this, the traffic. We already know how Harbison is. It is congested on a normal, regular day. But the traffic was even worse because the entrance to the mall was blocked off. You saw people walking from the mall. And I don't know if they had walked maybe to see or check on loved ones or they were walking uh, out of the mall uh, just to get out of the area. But traffic was extremely backed up. And I want to really stress, avoid that area if you can. Because as we're sitting in traffic trying to leave the area, you also have law enforcement vehicles that are trying to get in. They're trying to get to the scene. And it makes it more difficult for them when they're trying to navigate through all of that traffic. But it definitely was a very chaotic scene. Um, Again, I can't stress enough, law enforcement was on the scene from so many different agencies uh, from across the Midlands. Uh, just working to figure out exactly what had happened. So uh, it was not something that I was expecting to see coming out of the movies, especially on Easter weekend. Uh, But again, really just seeing a lot of law enforcement on the scene there. Brittany Sullivan, thank you so much. As we continue our team coverage, Columbia Police said less than an hour ago uh, that for the employees at the mall who were told to shelter in place, they're asking for you to stay in that area until proper authorities give you the all clear. Again, thousands of people in that area when the shooting happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon. News 19's Walker Lawson is continuing our team coverage. Walker, I know you've had an opportunity to speak to people who were in the mall when all of this unfolded. That's right, Darcy. So I got here around 2.45 this afternoon, and that was the first look that I could see of the mall was law enforcement everywhere. People were coming out of the mall, so there was a good amount of people walking around. I went ahead and drove over towards the JCPenney where there were a good amount of people coming out in the Forever 21, and I spoke to some people right after they had left the mall. This is what they had to say. I just got there about five minutes before it happened. My daughter was actually there all day. Um, it was pre- a pretty scary event. It was about 10 shots or so that rang out before they were done. I was grabbed her and I, we were running out the door. When I tell you, people were coming out of every single exit as fast as possible. It was a, uh, it was a pretty serious situation. And as he said, it was quite a serious situation. A lot of people were out looking for their loved ones and kind of trying to get their belongings together. Um, Now, law enforcement, there is still a strong presence here at the mall, and now we're beginning to see some traffic flow on the roadways. But it was quite an eerie feeling getting here today. A lot of people uh, very confused about what was going on and stressed out. So that is what we have here in Columbia. Back to you guys. Walker Lawson, thank you so much. Walker reporting for us live. As we mentioned moments ago, there were a number of law enforcement agencies that reported to that breaking news, that that, that shooting situation. The Lexington County Sheriff's Department reporting a reunification site is now being set up for those who have family that were involved in the shooting at the mall. They're located at 320. 20 Columbiana Drive. That is the Fairfield Inn. Again, Lexington County Sheriff's Department saying if you are looking for someone uh, that you have not been reunified with, go to the Fairfield Inn on Columbiana Drive. And if you have any information about today's shooting, you've got that number on your screen. 803-545-3525. They are asking you to dial that number if you have any information that can help law enforcement as they continue to investigate. Again, three people detained. Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook careful not to call them suspects, but this investigation is still in its infancy. Now, the Columbia Center Mall has issued a statement in response to today's shooting uh, saying, quote, today's isolated, senseless act of violence is extremely upsetting and our thoughts are with everyone impacted. We are grateful for the quick response and continued support of our security team and our partners in law enforcement.